After last night of uh, showing you guys this setup where this 9 volt battery was self charging, and this is a very simple setup. Your capacitor is hooked up right there. Uh, positive capacitor is hooked up to the positive of the battery, and the positive or negative of the capacitor is hooked up to the negative of the battery. It's very simple. And once it fills up, it comes open circuit, but this one kept on charging. We started off at 7.90 and went up to 8 volts. I showed you uh, last night, and continue from there. I, I went for a much, much more simpler approach. Um, I took this big capacitor, it's a um, 4700 microfarad at 35 volts. And this one over here, it's a, a 220 uh, microfarad at 50 volts. And I hooked them up. Uh, positive little one goes to the positive of the big one. And negative of the big one goes to the negative of the little one. And um, I, I got the numbers right here. Um, B is for big, so um, the big one had 0.874 volts in it. That was a standing voltage. Uh, I had it sitting there overnight. Um, the little one had 0.168, and that also was a standing voltage of sitting overnight. And I hooked them up, and this is what they uh, leveled out to 0.846 volts. Alright? And that's what they both uh, leveled out. At level out two when I hooked them up in parallel or positive to positive and negative to negative. So what do I know is that the bigger one right here will try to charge this little one because it has less power in it. And it did. Both of them read 0.846 in them. But here's the crazy thing that happened is that it went from 0.874 in the big one, when I hooked them up in parallel, it both became 0.846. So I consider that if I ever went over 0.874, something very unique, and I have went over 0.874. Uh, I got the scale hooked up, and of course I don't keep the um, meter hooked up to it. I don't. I keep it on this plate. Because the plate makes it portable. And I take the plate and I move it to different locations in the house to make sure there's no spontaneous charge going to it. Um, but yeah, oh, I just hooked up the meter and there's the wire. Wraps around. Nothing of trickery here. And I let it sit overnight. And here's what I got. Came home from work today. And this is what's reading. 0.902 Okay, and remember the original voltage in the big capacitor was 0.874 and putting them in parallel brought them down to 846 or 0.846 um, How the hell did I get over 0.874? That don't make sense Okay, this power should be going to this littler one to charge this one up and it did and that's what they both were at 0.846 that's what they leveled out to but they didn't stop there they kept going up that is very unique and I really can't explain it like I said it's a very simple setup this big capacitor 4700 microfarad at 35 volts Positive that one is going to the positive of this little one. This, po uh, this little one 220 microfarad at 50 volts. And negative the little one is going back to the negative of the big one. Basically hooked up in parallel. But yet they are self charging. And I don't know how. And there's no trickery here. The meter is not left connected. The capacitor would have left to sit there overnight to get an official stain voltage. And that's what I recorded down. That was the standing voltage on both. B is for big, L is for little. Big capacitor, little capacitor. And that's what they settle on when I hooked them up in parallel. For some odd reason, that voltage is now higher than that. It's up to 0.902. That is crazy. That's just weird. You can try this yourself. Let me know what you guys get.